Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Miranda here and I'm back for another video. Um, I just want to say, excuse my hair. I do say it in the video, but excuse my hair. Today is wash day. We're going to pray that I get it washed today. But, um, yeah. Just ignore my hair in this intro, during the video, and in the outro. Um, yeah. Today I do this makeup look for you guys. And I just spill some tea. I just tell you all my business. Um, a little update, um, ish. Um, and yeah, just spilling the tea on myself. Because there's no better place to hear my business than from my mouth. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys, you know, get what you came for. Hope you all know my business or at least part of it by the end of this video. Um, make sure to leave me a like. Definitely leave me a comment down in the comment box below and definitely baby subscribe to my channel because I am back. Um, don't know for how long. <laughs> Never know with me, but I'm back for now. Um, so yeah. Definitely subscribe. I would love if you subscribed. Definitely follow me on my social media, Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter, which will be down in the description box below. Um, I don't want this intro to be too long because I'm pretty sure this video is going to be long enough. So yeah, let's just get right on into the video. Whew. We're going to start off small and then lead up to the big stuff. I know, I know, I know. I feel like if I give you the good juicy stuff first, you're just going to, you know, leave <laughs> afterwards. But, um, so, uh, I guess the smallest thing is, uh, my tattoo which is on the side of the camera um it says angel um some of you may know some of you may not know for whatever reason but i lost my father to cancer almost three years no almost four years ago um back in 2016. honestly it was one of the reasons why i moved from atlanta FYI, I don't think a lot of people know, but I used to stay and attend school in Atlanta. Uh, we can really talk about that later. Um, but yeah, that was one of the reasons why I moved from Atlanta. And my dad, I guess it's a nickname. It's really my name. <laughs> but his name for me was Angel. He called me Angel all the time. Um, he barely called me Miranda. Uh, I can really count on one hand, no more than two hands, how many times I heard him say Miranda. Um, that was basically my name when it came to him, Angel. Even when he introduced me to the women he dated, uh, anybody really, this is my daughter, Angel. I mean, that should have just been put on my birth certificate. But I knew that I wanted to get a tattoo that was a memory of just him and i knew i wanted it to be angel because that's our thing that well that was our thing you know he was the only one that called me that nobody else is really allowed to call me that um so yeah i wanted to get it in like his handwriting but for some reason i couldn't find anything i guess with moving so much you know, stuff just got lost. Um, lost in the transition or whatever, but it's whatevs. Um, so yeah, I got it on Thanksgiving Day, actually. Like, I, there's a tattoo shop not too far from where I stay. And so, I actually came home from my grandparents' house. And then, um, I think I was waiting on somebody to text me. No, I just came back from my best friend's house, actually. And I was waiting, I was waiting on something. I don't know what I was waiting on. But, um, I was like, 
today's the day. Like I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. So I call the tattoo shop because some tattoo shops require you to have an appointment, no matter how big or small the tattoo is. So I called to see if he was available. And he was like, yeah, just come on in. Went, told him what I wanted. Excuse me, we chose the size, we chose the font. I signed the papers and he began my tattoo. It really took, it took like 30 minutes, I think. And he asked me uh, what would I rate it. You know, a scale of one to 10, 10 being the worst. It was like a seven, like a good, and even the parts that hurt the worst overall, it was a seven, which is surprising according to him because the chest is like a number 10 spot. I mean, there were some parts that was like biting, honey, like, I don't know, but it wasn't nothing unbearable. Um, and then maybe I do have a high pain tolerance. Who knows? But. It wasn't too bad. I really want another one. Um, do I want to show y'all what my... No, I'm not going to show it. But I do want another one. It will probably be coming later on this year. Maybe for my birthday. It's going to be on... I guess I'm going to do it on this shoulder. Because I have something on this side. Well, something here already. So it's going to be like... Maybe right here. I'm thinking... We're going to see how it... And I'm going to the same person. So we're going to see... We're gonna see. It's gonna be on this side. Um, it's a pretty big tattoo. Pretty pretty big. So, um, yeah, that's that's the tattoo thing. Um What's next? Oh, so I did move. I think I mentioned that in one of the videos, one of my recent videos, but I did move. Um I guess I can combine these two topics. So, oh, I hope this don't start. Oh shit. <sighs> so, some most of you may, most of you know, uh, me and Vinny are no longer together. Um, earlier this time last year, we were still working it out. We were still. Um, spend the night at each other's house you know we weren't living together anymore but we were still spending the night at each other's house we were still kicking it um, all of those things but um, how do I say this without telling my business <laughs> um, he decided to do something stupid um, he knows it's stupid and he has gotten himself into a situation that he necessarily can't get out of. Um, we still talk uh, almost every day. We haven't really talked the past couple of days because he's pissed me off. And I'm just like, no, like I don't have to put up with your shit anymore. So why am I cheating? No. But um, yeah. But we. We'll get back right eventually. We are. I don't label us as friends because. Things that we went through. Things that we did. Things that happened between us. Even before and after our relationship. I don't do it with my friends. I don't have those conversations with my friends. I don't participate in those activities with my friends. And the love I have for him, I don't have for my friends. And I know it may seem crazy, but that's just the truth. No, I don't. No, it's a no for me, dog. Um, so I label us as people who used to be together for a long, long time, and um, that now just text each other. I actually. Ooh, Y'all, I tr I pride myself on being as honest and open as possible just because, like, if there's, I don't want anybody to be able to come to me and tell me my business. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can you tell me something about myself that I didn't already know? So, I, um, that's why, like, I don't mind putting my shit on the table, excuse my language, but, I mean, 
I mean, there are some things that I keep private. There are some things that, like, I haven't told y'all for this situation. But, you know, so if I seem a little reserved, it's just because I don't want shit to hit the fan. Because, honey, I don't have time. I don't. But, um, we still, like I said, we still talk, um, every now and then. By every now and then, almost every day. Um, I actually seen him not too long ago. Like, a cut, like maybe... Maybe a couple of weeks ago, actually. But, um, my family still loves him. They don't really know, like, what all happened. And I, like, I told him that. I told him that. And I actually told my mom, like, I mean, Vina was a part of my life for six years. Um, we dated for five of those years. Uh, so I'm not going to expect my family to just cut him off like I am trying to do um I don't expect them to just hate him my best friend on the other hand she's a different story but she knows more information than my family does because she's my best friend but um I don't give them that information because I don't know what's gonna happen in the future to hell months for now or years from now we can come back and try and figure this out and make some shake i don't want to tell them this information and what if that were to happen they like uh no nah, but this ain't it you know what i'm saying i'm not saying we gonna give it no that's not what i'm saying because he talks to somebody or he has a situation uh, i don't know what the label of that we're not going to talk about that. I have a situation going on that is just a situation of the more than less. So I'm not, you know, saying that we're going to get back together. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what you should take from this. But I'm just saying it's a possibility. We don't know what's going to happen. You know, I'm not a magic eight ball. I can't see into the future. But um, anyway... So, my family still talks about him a little bit more than I would like, but hey, it is what it is, you know, he was a part of my life, I get it. Y'all love him just as much as I love him, so whatever, I just go with it, I just, you know, this is what I chose. Um, so yeah, um, his mom, I still, I'm pretty cool I'm still cool with them. um it's a couple of family members of his that I'm like side eyeing but they don't know that I'm side eyeing them so it's not really a problem but um I'm still cool with his mom I still talk to his mom I actually talked to his mom on was it New Year's or New Year if it wasn't New Year's it was Christmas I know I talked to her for sure on Christmas but, um, I think I said, oh, I didn't. I didn't send no Happy New Year messages. So, it was Christmas. Um, I love that lady. She is the best. She's really why I've been so sane during this whole ordeal. Honestly, no cap. She is the reason why. Because she, at one point in time, she was in the household with us. And so... I confided in her because that's her son. I think I'm pretty sure I said this in the video before. I'm talking about me and Vinny. But I confided in her because that's her son, you know. Besides me, she's the... Yeah, besides me, she's the one that knows him the best. Um. So, I confided in her. So, yeah, I confided in her about a lot of things. Um, even before, after, and during our time together. So... You know, I love her. She's always there for me. Um, and not just when it comes down to her son either. But yeah, she's the best. Um, I think that's enough about Benny, honestly. There, like I said, there are things I'm not telling you, but that's my business. <laughs> um, you know, we just don't... He has things he has to figure out and I have things that I have to figure out and there's 
could possibly be something major that happens in my life that causes me to pick up and move and because of predicaments he's gotten himself into he won't be able to do that he may not be able to do that so he has to figure out his shit and his situation before he even looks to me for anything relationship wise and I have my whole situation that I've got to figure out and focus on you know last year I focused too much I didn't prioritize right and it cost me big it cost me huge so I don't want to make that same mistake again this year I want to be able to prioritize right I want to be able to make the right decisions and give my attention to to the things that needs my attention first and does that make sense um so we're just we're just people who used to go together that text and talk occasionally nothing more nothing less um as of this moment as of this moment you know this time last year it was a totally different situation and i've been saying lately like it's crazy like you know it's crazy how fast a year goes by but it's also crazy how much things can change in a year like a year ago a year ago we were going to be together you know we was basically spending all our time we had gotten over the hurdles a little bit but you know we were still struggling still dealing with um the issues but you know we were working on being back together but <sighs> shit happens dude you know nobody's perfect uh you know shit happens shit happens that's all i can say about that situation shit happens but um yeah we still love each other we still care for each other a person would be dumb as hell excuse my language y'all a person would be dumb as hell to think that we don't still have feelings for each other we don't love each other we still don't care for each other like i said we spent five years together i've known him for almost this year it'll be seven years that i've known him this july so you know i spent majority of my growing up i met Vinny when i was 16 16 2014 when I was 16 I met Vinny when I was 16 back in 2014 um so I grew up with Vinny Vinny taught me a lot of things he taught me a, a lot of what I know you know um he showed me ways we we spent a lot of our time together from the time that I moved back from Georgia State the day that I moved back from Georgia State I moved in with Vinny and from that time up until December of last year no up until December of 2018 we lived together and really and from that moment in 2018 we only spent maybe two weeks away from each other and we was back to being together every day um up until he decided to be stupid so um yeah you know still have love for him still have still care about him um if he called me today and tells me that he desperately needs me I would be there and he knows this um we've talked about that but um yeah shit just happens you have to go with the flow you have to deal with it sometimes life throws your curveball you just gotta it is what it is you know what I'm saying like what can you do what can you honestly do about it but um 
Yeah, I think that's all that I'm going to say about Mr. Washington because I start talking too much, I may get emotional, may hurt some feelings. That's not intent. Y'all, excuse my hair. Um, today is wash day. Yay. Today Damn. Yo. I have been oh wait. Let me, because I tend to go from one topic to the next topic in the middle of a conversation. So, excuse my hair. Today is wash day. Um, if you watched my last video, if you haven't, I'll have it on the screen. I forgot what side it's on, but I have it at the top of the screen. Um, if you watched that video, then you know my, my hair is damaged really bad. Um, but today... I'm going to try something that I found on YouTube last night. Treatment that could, a protein treatment that could potentially save my hair and um, shorten the transition process, I guess, maybe. But um, I'm going to try it and I'm going to film it. So that video should be up after this video. So be on the lookout for that. So yeah, when I get finished with this, I have to go to the store and buy my products and come back and um, film my hair video. Let me know. Oh, I knew I was talking about something before I started talking about Benny. Lord have mercy. I moved in with my mom. Um, so... If you're new to my channel and if you don't know me in real life or outside of YouTube, should I say? Not in real life, but outside of YouTube. I had my own place. I had my own place for like a year and a couple of months. Um, I still didn't do what I needed it to do, but it's alright. Um, I had my own place, but something happened. Somebody somewhere effed up and increased my rent. Now, uh, this was, I don't think I had got hired on at the hospital yet, so I was still unemployed. How? No. No, 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 no. That's not how this works, baby. No, that's not how it's going to work. No, ma'am. <laughs> No. Um, so <sighs> I eventually got the job at the hospital and I could have paid it, but my thing is if you knew where I stay, no. It was not worth the rent increase. It was not worth the rent increase. So I was like, man. And then I was staying alone. So I was like, mm. I mean, now I wish I would have kept it, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're living, you learn. It'll be all right. So I moved back in with her because I wanted to pay that. And then she has a lot of health problems. And for some reason, people feel like she can't stay by herself. I don't know. That's another topic for another day that is not going to be today. But, um, yeah, so I moved back in. So, I, if my background looks different, that is why. Um, I was supposed to try a new technique before I did this powder. I forgot. It'll be all right. Um, yeah. So, my background will be different. My plans is, um, <clears throat> to save. If... I may be moving in a couple of months, so I don't want to get a place now and have to break my lease. Because most lease um, where I stay, you have to be in the apartment for at least a year. Um, it's like, you know, your lease for a year. So, I don't want to do that. So, I'm just saving and... Um, Praying. Saving and praying. 
camera wants to cut off. Um, so I always want to do a vision board, but I never do it. But my goal this year, number one is to be more consistent with anything that I do. Because there are some projects, or not necessarily projects, but some skills, I guess you'll say, that I want to start working on um, outside of YouTube some hobbies that I want to practice and you know really see if I can make something shape with it outside of YouTube but if I start that I want to be able to be consistent I want to be consistent with YouTube I need to um I need to um organize my YouTube like for as my scheduling and stuff like when I'm gonna upload Y'all let me know down in the comment box below um, if the time of the upload matters to you. Because going back last night, I think, um, I don't know, the time is off on a lot of videos, I think. But I usually try to upload around either 2, 4, or 6. Those are the hours that I try to upload. 2, 4, or 6. Um, if it matters let me know if it doesn't matter then i won't worry about it as much and i'll just upload whenever i get finished with editing the video um i'm gonna i don't want to say on camera right now what days i'm gonna upload um i know i think i used to try to upload mondays wednesdays and fridays or something like that i think um but see now i have class on monday this semester i have class on monday wednesday and it's in the afternoon so i don't know if that's still going to be able to work um but i'm gonna look at my schedule my school schedule and um let's see but just let me know if the time thing, if that matters to you all. But go is to really be more consistent in anything that I do. Consistent YouTube, consistent in my outside hobbies, consistent in school. Um, my goal this semester actually for school, I don't want anything below a B. And I try my best. Last semester... I struggled with one class and I knew I was going to get a C in that class. But my other class, I really could have got, I really could have got at least a B, but I'm pretty sure I could have got an A in that class. But I got lazy and I start to slack off during midterms and it cost me way more than I thought it would cost me. So I came out with two C's and one B last semester. Um, and that's not okay with me at all especially not with the school plans that I have so yeah something's gonna have to give but I'll try my hardest to make something shake this semester try my hardest to be more focused um, yeah so Consistency is my number one goal. Consistency. Um. So I know what you're all waiting for. I know what you're all waiting for me to talk about. I haven't really talked about it with anybody, honestly. I haven't because... I it's kind of touchy for me and it kind of shook things up for me but um but I mean, shit happens, right? Shit happens. But, um, I failed out of nursing school. 